This is my official URL Rookies versus Vets prediction card. I believe it's six battles. A little disappointed that that's how long Big T is not happening. Big T been talking a lot of shit lately to these new niggas. He, he's starting to get back on this shit a little bit. He had a little rough little last year. He lost a couple of significant battles. Battles I felt that he shouldn't have lost. He should have beat Big Cannon. And honestly, to be real, in my opinion, if he didn't lose the first round of Big Cannon, he probably would have won the battle. If he didn't choke. Um, him and B-Magic was terrible. So, Arsenal whipped his ass. I mean, he had a couple of L's. He's still one of my favorites, though. Because he fucks who surf up in that store, in my opinion. Let me see. What's the card? We got Real Deal against Snow. Hmm. Real Deal is an angle-based rapper. I got him winning. Maybe 2-1. I don't think he had 3 else. No. But you never know. He's supposed to. Because, I mean, Snow, he's alright, but he lost a lot of steam, you know. He lost the L well in the UFF. He lost the T-Sot. I mean, he was alright, though. He's not whack, but I don't really... He hasn't really impressed me as a fan yet. So, I, I give it the real deal 2-1. K-Shine versus Mr. Wavy. I'm going to go with Wavy 2-1. Only because I don't know what k is showing up. His last few showings been a little iffy. He haven't won a battle in a while. I mean, he beat Dan A. He may have beaten JC. I don't know. I got to watch that battle again. But his third round against JC was incredible. Other than that, he's, he, who is he beating? He didn't beat Head Ice. Head Ice spanked him. Then he using recycled bars and shit. And I really don't respect that. Now, he's supposed to dance all over this kid. Because it kind of similar a little bit, in my opinion. He should have spanked the young boy. But we'll see. I'm kind of... I mean, it, if K-Shine show up, it could be 2-1 either way. But right now, I got Weavy. I got Real Deal over Snow. And I got Weavy over K-Shine. Um, prep against John John the Don. Mm, I haven't seen John John battle since what, Summer Madness. I think he beat Vert 2-1. Um, I don't know, man. I, it's kind of hard against... For me to go against a Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? Such as prep. Um, I'm going to go with John John 2 1. But I wouldn't be surprised if prep won. Okay, so that's three battles. The Saga against Shotgun Shook. It's a weird matchup. Weird matchup. I would much rather see shit battle T Top, but that might happen in the future. Um, I'm gonna go with the Fat Boy. I'm gonna take the Fat Boy two one, but I'm not. See Saga, he's like a preacher type. So I don't, I don't know what angle he's gonna take on shit. You know what I'm saying? So, matter of fact, I'm not even gonna pick a winner for that because. I wait for it to come out on camera. So I'm undecided about Saga versus uh, Shaka and Shook. Chess and DNA. Great promotion of this. They both been talking that shit. And they kind of similar. DNA is the youngest vet. Chess is the youngest rookie. Um, Damn, this is an interesting battle. Because I thought for sure DNA and Prep was going to go down. I thought that would have made more sense. Now, they still might battle, though. DNA battled everybody. I'm going to have to go with DNA, man. Like, a lot of people hate on DNA. You know what I'm saying? 
A lot of people was tired of seeing him on every major card. I kind of am a little bit, but at the same time, if he's friends with the sponsors, he's going to be on the cards. He's going to be on every gnome. He's going to be on every summer madness. It's not like he don't show up. You know, he kind of pissed me off. His last show in the King of the Dot, he got fucking 3 0 by a nigga that one nigga posted 3 0 him, to be honest with you. No disrespect to Immaculate. He's nice. But he's posting, you know what I'm saying? He's, he posted some bullshit. I just think he. But I still notice the hunger and aggression in him. Like, him and Clips is the only niggas that will battle anybody. You know what I'm saying? So. Fuck it, man. DNA 3-0, man. I got DNA. You know what I'm saying? I see niggas hating and all that. And I and I feel, I in my opinion, I think he beat Tay Rock 2-1. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say Tay Rock 1. That 3-0 shit, a lot of niggas, y'all need to stop that. Because nobody's be getting 3-0. I haven't seen a 3-0 body bag. There been 3-0s, but not a 3-0 body bag. It's a difference in a long time. No body bag. Nobody got body bag on Summer Madness cut. Not four. Not SM4. Nobody. So, whatever. Um, Last but not least, T-Top versus Charlie Clips. Hmm. I ain't gonna front. I fuck with T-Top, man. The nigga got bars, man. I like that. I would like to see him match up. Man, him and Calico, they got to happen. Fuck that. T Top and Calico, they gotta go down. They gotta go down. Like, there's no way that they can't go down. Like, you know what I'm saying? He pretty much ran through everybody in the UFF. He did exceptionally well. And now it's the real test. Because Charlie not coming to play. And Charlie probably, pretty much, is probably my favorite battle rapper currently. I mean, he got a couple L's, you know what I'm saying? Now, Sharon definitely beat him. You can argue that Heartless beat him. A lot of people say Surrey and Jones beat him. I don't see it, though. I was there live for Summer Madness, too. And I watched it on tape. I, I don't. I clearly gave him the first two rounds, but a lot of people will say Surrey and Jones beat him. A lot of people say Beat Magic beat him. I don't. I mean, it's debatable. But I don't think, and my, it's just my opinion. We all have a opinion. I don't think B-Magic beat me. I think he clearly won the first two rounds with B-Magic. And he stumbled in the third. But when he's on his A-game, can't nobody in the world beat Charlie Clips. Nobody. And he been in there with some killers. You know what I'm saying? I still don't know the angle and approach he's going to take against Hollow to Don. But I still got my money on Charlie for that. But we talking about rookies and vets. It all depends because Charlie realistically does have hollow, but at the same time, I don't think he coming to play with this kid. You know what I'm saying? And to be real with you, none of these vets can afford to lose. Oh, I'm, I'm missing the battle. Okay, I'm missing the battle. But Charlie, 2-1. Edge, a edge. Charlie, 2-1. Averb and Briz Rustin. That's the one I forgot. Hmm. Verb been talking that shit to these young boys, man. I like Verb, man. Verb is very witty. And when he's on URL, he don't play. He might bullshit and fuck up over KOTD or these other little leagues he be battling on. No disrespect. KOD is not a little league. It's a big league, but I'm just saying. I don't know about this one, Verb. I like Briz, man. Briz is one of the new cats that I like. He's one of the new cats that I really like. Out of the new cats, I like Briz. I like T-Top. I like XL. I ain't really too... Prez Mafia, I think he's whack. That's just my opinion. I think Prez Mafia is whack. It's fuck. I don't see what the big data is about him. I like ID Boom. Interest. I mean, they've been talking shit to each other for a while. Because I'm a member of the, um, the unbiased group on Facebook. I'm a member of that. They be talking a lot of shit, so. Bottom line is, I'm going to go with Briz 2-1. 
But Verb can't afford to lose his belt. He's been talking too much shit, man. The, the, in a nutshell, none of these vets, or quote-unquote vets, cannot lose to none of these fucking rookies, man. But I, I respect Beasley, Smack, and Chico for putting this event together. It's long overdue. It's time for these young boys to step it up because they've been talking shit too. And then we're going to see. You know what I'm saying? But overall, they my matchups. Uh, the winners of these matchups that I picked. And, um, you know, leave a comment. Let me know. Am I bugging? Am I tripping? But my, in my opinion, none of the vets can lose. You know what I'm saying? Try to have a good one, man. I'm out.